Jubilant supporters greeted Jacob Zuma when corruption charges were dropped the first time in 2006. When the charges were reinstated and dropped again, the final hurdle was cleared for him to become South Africa's president after ousting Thabo Mbeki as president of the governing party. Zuma had been charged with 783 counts of corruption in relation to tax evasion fraud and a multi-billion dollar arms deal meant to restock South Africa's military hardware after decades under apartheid era sanctions. Why the charges were dropped is controversial. It comes down to what are known as the spy tapes. In secretly taped phone calls, a prosecutor and the head of a special investigations unit are among the people recorded talking about the timing of the charges and how to maximize the damage from them. The acting national director of public prosecutions at the time dropped the corruption charges because he said the spy tapes showed political interference that meant Zuma couldn't receive a fair trial. But he did say there had been a valid case against Zuma. That's why the opposition Democratic Alliance pursued the case so rigorously since 2009. It wants the prosecutor's decision set aside and the charges reinstated. Jacob Zuma was about to become president of South Africa. This was a politically inconvenient prosecution and they latched on the one aspect that could marginally justify the dropping of charges. Political analyst Aisha Kaji says Zuma, who is less than halfway through his second presidential term, is already losing support both within his party and the public. It could strongly damage his chances of being able to, shall we say, influence who his likely successor is going to be and of being able to influence what happens during the rest of his term in office. In a statement on the eve of the court case, President Zuma's office said the decision to drop corruption charges will withstand any scrutiny and that the Democratic Alliance is abusing its power and trying to win votes. Zuma's lawyers are paying close attention. While the corruption allegations that have dogged him are debated in court, a vote of no confidence in the president is being debated in parliament. Although Zuma is likely to win, there's no doubt he's expecting a tough week. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Pretoria.